uh, Lonnie Quinn here now uh, talking about our forecast and Hurricane Lee as it uh, moves up the coast. Mm -hmm. No big problems for us, it looks like. Coastal impacts. We're, we're, okay. we're talking purely coastal impacts. I, I think the rain amounts are going to be very minor for the east end. Winds, I think, for the most part, are going to be on the minor side as well. But coastal impacts, you know, not minor. There are pretty big waves out there, gang. Let me show you what we're dealing with currently. And this picture, which shows a cruise ship coming down the Hudson, uh, you know what? It, I got to tell you, it's not a bad looking shot. You've got some clouds out there, but you got some blue sky as well. That's okay looking right there. Whatever cloud you do see, it's all associated with Lee. Now, it's a sunnier picture right now, north and west of New York City, but I'll try to get through everything here uh, as quickly and as efficiently as I can so you get a nice, clear idea of how this hurricane affects our area. 69 was your high temp today. You should be 77, so you're well off the mark there. And 69, eight degrees below the average is a typical for October the 5th. So if you thought it felt like fall out there today, yeah, it did feel like a, a fall day. You're not quite into the fall season yet. This will be, I believe, the biggest impact that Lee makes on our area. It'll be the waves and the wave heights, okay, which translates to rip currents as well and beach erosion. Six to 12 footers building from tonight through early Saturday. And then Saturdays get into the afternoon through early Sunday, you know, four to 10 footers. They should be on the decline as you push through your day on Sunday as the storm pushes away. But here's what our storm looks like as of right now. The closest pass, put it into motion, four o'clock in the morning, all right, from Montauk to the center of circulation, about 270 miles or so. We don't really see the rain field making its way into the east end, but there's definitely a chance for some rain, all right? It wouldn't be a huge amount, but there's a chance you get scraped by it a little bit. Look at the cloud cover, though. I mean, it's pretty much throughout the entire area, and what a cutoff it is. You know, heavy clouds and no clouds. You get into Pennsylvania, sun shines out, you get to Cape May, sunshine is out as well. All right, that's 4 a.m. on Saturday. By the time you get to Sunday, that's a nice looking picture. All right, exiting is Lee, but as Lee exits, it's actually pulling this batch of untold weather into the area. So while you start off with sunshine, on Sunday, clouds later in Sunday, maybe late afternoon into the early evening hours, a rain chance develops. That's showing 8.30, and then a bigger chance for rain would arrive as you get into Monday. That actually may end up being a yellow alert for us on Monday morning. Winds at the peak, maybe 36 mile per hour winds out around Montauk. The amount of rain you pick up, hardly anything. This is showing a zero right now from Lee. But remember that other batch of rain that comes in on Monday? Look at this. Maybe one to two inches in some areas out there. We're going to watch that one very closely again because I think it could lead to a yellow alert that we issue for Monday morning because it's a tough drive to work. Tough drive to work if you're picking up one to two inches of rain in some areas. So across the board, we talk about the weekend, 76 and 79. I think Sunday's the better day. You'll see some more sunshine. Monday, a wet start to your day, and then a really nice weather pattern steps up from Tuesday all the way through Friday of next week. All Sounds right. good. Thanks, Lonnie. Okay, guys.